Hi you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I just woke up, made myself some coffee. It's like half gone already because I have been downing it this morning. I woke up this morning and it was like 45 degrees and it was just the best thing ever. So I feel like anytime that it's nice, cool, crisp fall weather, I'm in like a great mood. I'm like, okay, we're gonna vlog today. So, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast since we're doing a fun fall day. I'm gonna make some apple cinnamon oatmeal. If you guys have been following me for a couple of years, you've probably seen me make this in my previous fall fall vlogs it's one of my favorite warm cozy breakfasts to eat during the fall time so we're gonna make some of that okay just added in the apples and then i'm gonna put some cinnamon in it okay and then the last thing i'm adding in is just a little bit of this maple syrup to give it some sweetness Okay, I just finished my breakfast and I'm getting ready to take my dogs on a little walk. It's super nice weather outside and they're super hyper. I don't know what it is, but something about the cooler weather just makes my dogs go wild. So we're gonna take them on a nice little walk to get their energy out. It's also really pretty because like all the leaves are falling and they're starting to change. So I've been loving to go on walks lately just because the weather is so beautiful and it's just a really nice, pretty, like relaxing activity. So we're gonna go do that. I'm putting on some of my Ulta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum 46. Also, in case you guys were wondering where this puffer is from, it's from ASOS. I will try to find it and then link it down for you guys. Okay, I need to get socks, shoes on, and then get the doggos, and then we'll head out. Okay, I took a shower, washed my hair, and then I just did my makeup really quickly. I actually recently got in the new Shark Flex style, so I thought we could try it together for the first time. If you guys have never heard of it, it's essentially a dupe for the Dyson, like almost exactly to the T. And I tried the Dyson before, and honestly, I just wasn't the biggest fan, mainly just because it was like $600, and my hair only lasted for maybe like an hour after using it. So I feel like if I'm paying like $600 for a hair tool, then I expected to like stay like that all day, and it just didn't. I'm gonna put some heat protectant in my hair real quick. But I think I only paid like $200 for the shark one, which in my opinion is a lot better of a price for like a hair tool. So I'm really excited to try it out and see how it goes. I know whenever I showed it on my Instagram story, a lot of you guys asked for a review. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I just put the way heat protectant in my hair. I really, really like this one. I feel like a lot of times the heat protectants are just like very oily, but this one's not whatsoever. It keeps my hair feeling just like very fresh and soft and it smells amazing. So I love this one. I've really been into way hair products lately. I also have their dry shampoo and that's like my new favorite. Okay, so this is what the shark flex style looks like. It comes with a bunch of different attachments but I'm just gonna blow dry my hair first to make it like 80 to 90 percent dry but it has a blow dryer on it and look is that not so freaking cool it literally like bends and then snaps into place and you have a little blow dryer which is so fun I'm so excited to try this Okay, this got it mostly dry, and can I just say that for being such a small thing, this thing is so insanely powerful. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little paddle brush attachment to smooth it out before I actually do the curls. It also comes with a big round brush attachment as well, so lots of different options on attachments. Okay, that definitely smoothed it. My hair literally feels so silky soft right now. Now for the fun part, we're gonna do the curls, and I'm so excited. Just like the Dyson Airwrap, it does come with two different barrels that go in different directions. Um, I feel like lengthwise, they're pretty much the same length as the Dyson. They're not longer, they're not shorter. Um, I feel like they're pretty much just like the same length in case anyone was wondering. Okay, we're just gonna section off the top part of my hair so I can work on the bottom section first. Okay, let's see how this goes. I am so excited. Okay, let's see. Oof, okay, she is bouncy. I'm doing like 15 seconds of hot air and then I'm blasting with cold air for like 10 seconds afterwards because I know a lot of people said to do that to make your curls like last longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of my bottom half. Look at how bouncy these curls are. That is so fun. This thing definitely works super, super well. I do think before I move on to the other side, I'm gonna hairspray these really quickly just because my hair does fall super fast naturally. So I'm using the dry bar, the Sheriff. It's a medium hold hairspray and I really like it. Wow, look at that volume. That's crazy. I really love that. That's so pretty. Okay. Okay, I'm going to change attachments and then we're going to do the other half. One thing I am learning for long hair is if you do have long hair, hold it and then start it at the top so that way it kind of goes down versus like starting it in the middle and then it going down and like the barrel not being long enough um, just because I feel like it like holds on to it a lot better that way. Okay. 
Okay, so this side is definitely a lot more like I really just want to call them George Washington curls, but they do loosen up. Like you guys can see already how much these have kind of loosened up and now it's just like a really pretty curl. I will say ever since I got the Brazilian blowout, my hair has not been able to hold a curl as well. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how long these hold. I do feel like though on these ones, I held it more vertical, whereas these ones, I think I held it more like horizontal. So that's one thing too to keep in mind. If you want like different types of curls, you can hold it like a different way. But I'm going to go ahead and hairspray these a little bit as well. Okay, and then on to the top half. I feel like this is where the magic happens. I am gonna leave my bangs out just to do separately, but it's so funny. You can see like the length difference of whenever you like first do the curls versus like the other ones that are a little bit more relaxed. They definitely relax quite a bit, which I personally like. I don't want them to be like super tight curls. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bangs. I'm doing the attachment that goes like upward. I'm very excited, let's see how this goes. Okay, time for the reveal. I hope this turned out cute. Okay, I'm gonna try to like shake them out a little bit to see if this top half relaxes a little bit. Okay, this is what the hair is looking like from the back. I honestly can't see it. Okay, let's bring it all forward and see how it looks. Wow, that is so cute and so much volume. And I love the way it did like my bangs too. I feel like I maybe want my bangs like a tiny bit shorter. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I get them like right there? I feel like they maybe need to be like a tiny bit shorter. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna do one more thing of hairspray all over. Try to see how long we can preserve this. I'm gonna take a little bit of hair oil. This is the Kerastase, Kerastase, not sure how you pronounce it. But I'm gonna take like half a pump and kind of like run that through just to kind of like, just to kind of smooth everything out. Oh dang, that stuff smells so good. I got this little like travel bottle of it. I have a full size one in a PR package they sent me, but I hadn't tried it yet. But I got a little tiny bottle of it to take with me to Chicago this weekend. Okay, that definitely is helping to like loosen everything up. I personally like a very like loosened curl look anyways. Just like a very nice natural. I don't like the super tight curls. So this is right up my alley. But overall, I give this a 10 out of 10. I feel like this worked the exact same way as the Dyson whenever I tried it. Um, but it's just a lot less expensive. It's like $400 cheaper. I also really love that you can like bend it into a blow dryer. I think that's super cool. If you guys do want to check it out, I will have it linked down below as well as like all the other hair products that I used. Okay, here's a better view of like what it looks like from the back. It's been about 15 minutes since I did it, but I did put oil on the end so that could have weighed it down just a little bit. That was my first time using that oil. So I don't know if that's maybe a little bit more of like a heavy oil, but it's still super pretty and I love the way it turned out. Hi you guys, so it is actually the next day. I had to stop filming yesterday after I got ready because I got the worst vertigo ever. And if you guys have ever experienced it, like it's just like that huge spinning feeling. It's the worst. I don't know why, but I feel like I typically tend to get it like before it rains and it rained a lot last night. So I don't know if there's something to do with like the pressure in the air or what, but I always tend to get it right before it rains. Um, so I had to stop vlogging. So I figured I would just pick it back up today. Um, I did want to show you guys second day hair from the shark flex style. This is how it's looking like it still looks pretty good. Honestly, it doesn't really like have those tight curls anymore but i did sleep on it and i don't have any product in it i didn't retouch it today i don't even have dry shampoo in and it honestly like i think it still looks cute like i could wear this the second day if you guys are interested in getting it i would recommend to get it sooner rather than later depending on like when you're wanting it or if you're wanting to get it for someone for like a christmas gift uh, because it looks like it is running about like four weeks ship time so just keep that in mind if you're wanting anything for christmas like highly recommend or you know if you want to ask for it for christmas highly recommend to purchase it asap or I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Right now I'm out running some errands. I'm actually at the post office because I need to drop off some return packages. I got some clothes from ASOS that I was really hoping would be cute. Some pieces were, and then I ordered this trench coat. I think they just sent me the wrong trench coat because it was one of those like what I bought versus what I got things and it looked so different and like so bad. I'm returning most of the stuff that I got from there. I'll show you guys like what I got whenever I do my outfit planning. I'm gonna do like an outfit planning and pack with me video um, before I leave for Chicago and you guys can kind of see some of my outfits and the pieces that I got then. But I'm at the post office so I can return those packages and then I do have some stuff from Sephora that I need to go exchange just because I got the wrong shade so I need to go get a different shade in that and then what else do I need to do I wrote a list down for this reason because I knew I'd forget oh yeah I need to go get stuff for a little date night we ended up not being able to go to the drive-in movie yesterday because a I had vertigo and b because it was like downpouring but tonight we're gonna have a little cozy date night at home we're gonna get some wine we're gonna make some pizza at home and then maybe like play some games or something I haven't had like a 
a good old fashioned game night in the longest time. So I need to go to Target and like get all the stuff for the ingredients to like make the pizza, the wine, all of that fun stuff. Okay, just stopped at Target and I got so many fun goodies. I meant to just get stuff for pizza, but then I also got some other stuff. So I thought we could do like a random Target haul, probably of like things I don't necessarily need, but they looked fun. Okay, the first thing that I got is like another little like makeup sponge. I actually do need another one because mine is pretty dirty and it's like, I feel like after a while they just get gross and you just need to get a new one. So I thought that would be fun to try. And then I got this contouring facial roller that's supposed to lift and firm. And I like my ice roller, but I feel like I need something to kind of like massage my face a little bit. And says that this one's supposed to help drain puffiness and toxins, helps reveal a more lifted and chiseled complexion, and promotes blood circulation for smoother and firmer looking skin texture. I just feel like when I wake up in the morning, my face is just very like puffy, and it always feels so good if I kind of like massage my face. So I saw this and thought that it would be fun to try. It was like 10 bucks. So grab those two. Um, I got more Mighty Patches because I always have these on hand. If you guys haven't gotten on the Mighty Patch, train yet you need to because these are amazing oh okay and then i also saw that native had their whole like holiday display out with all of their like deodorants and body washes shampoo conditioners so i grabbed these two this is their candy cane scent i love the smell of like peppermint and candy cane so i got their moisturizing shampoo and then their conditioner it smells so good these are silicone sulfate and paraben free Oh, oh my gosh, that smells so, so good. I will update you guys on how I like these, but I was so excited when I saw these. The display was actually pretty much like rated. <laughs> like there was hardly any products left, so I'm glad I grabbed some when I did. And then the next thing that I got are like food and drink. Um, I grabbed these Heavenly Hunks. They must have just recently started carrying them at Target because I get these all the time at Sprouts. You guys, if you have never tried Heavenly Hunks, please go get these. They are oatmeal chocolate chip bites and they're vegan, gluten-free. They have really good ingredients. They're like only five grams of sugar for a whole bite and they're pretty big, but they taste like so yummy and sweet. I actually got these as a snack for the plane ride to Chicago this weekend. So I'm gonna try not to eat them before then. Um, so I'll just come back and get more, but definitely try these, they're so yummy. And then the next thing that I got, well, I got like multiples of these. I got my cherry cola Olipop. You guys have never tried Olipop. You're missing out. It's a healthy version of pop. It has good ingredients. It doesn't have any of that fake nasty stuff in it. Um, and it actually supports your digestive health. And it also tastes amazing. They just recently released this flavor. And ever since they have, I have been straight buying out the Target supply of them because they're always sold out. So every time I see them, I buy like 20 cans. Anyways, that's my little Target haul. I'm gonna go ahead and stop by Sephora to exchange those products really quickly. And then I think after that, I'm just gonna head home. I'm not really doing anything interesting in Sephora. So I'm probably not gonna vlog it because I'm literally just like exchanging stuff. So I'll I'll probably just see you guys when I get home. Okay, I just got back from running errands. I thought I would show you guys what I got at Sephora. Apparently I'm in a spending mood today, which is like also a very usual thing for me. I'm a big spender, which is bad, but I definitely grabbed a few other things at the Sephora sale. I figured if I'm gonna spend the money, I might as well get it now while it's on sale. So I thought I would show you guys what I got. So I got the right shade of the Kosas foundation and then concealer. I got the shade Light Cool 180. It's light with cool pink undertones, which I have just a very like pink face naturally. And I got the concealer in O2W. I've also really been looking for a good setting spray. I don't remember who it is that I followed that recommended this but they recommended the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray so i got this one. Oh, that's cool and it says you actually can use this as a primer and then also as a setting spray so you spray it like before and after your makeup and it says that it primes and sets for up to 16 hours no melting no fading and no creasing so that's cool i feel like i do need a good primer as well and then oh okay i have been wanting to try this for the longest time it's the charlotte tilbury blush like those little blush wands they've been sold out for the longest time and they finally got them back in stock at my Sephora. So I grabbed the shade Peach Gasm. But it's like the little blush that just has like the little puff at the end, I guess. You've probably seen these like all over social media. Everyone and their mother uses them. But they're super pretty. So I grabbed that one. Okay, and then the last thing I got was the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. I got the Dior Backstage Foundation in my last Sephora run. So I wanted to try the primer. So I grabbed that one. So that's everything that I got at Sephora. Okay, it's a little bit later. We just got out all the stuff to make the pizza. Got the wine. This is one of my favorite wines. It's the Josh's Pinot Noir and all of Josh Sellers wines are actually vegan so fun fact there but i'm so excited for homemade pizza i've been we didn't make the last time we made homemade pizza together was on my birthday 
We made this exact same pizza with like I think this exact same wine mm -hmm. for my birthday. That was so fun. I think it was a white. Yeah. It was a white. It was a white one, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like having to use the tip of the corkscrew because oh. my oh, fake does. nails. I don't know if you guys watched my videos in 2020. But if you did, like at the beginning of 2020, I literally have a video. Actually, I don't know. I think I maybe, I feel like I'm going to butcher this. I feel like I maybe privated it. I don't remember. But I was opening this bottle of wine and it was just like, it was at the beginning of the whole chaos that was 2020. Wait, can you do this? I feel like I'm going to make this go everywhere. Wait, I think I already messed it up. Okay, got it. But in 2020, I opened... The same bottle of wine and it was like i said like it was just in the beginning of the chaos of all the things and i tried to open it and it like splattered all over okay because i did have a corkscrew mm -hmm. and so i was trying to open it with like a steak knife and i was trying to like stab it in there and then something about it, i think i accidentally like shook it or something because oh that's what it was there was like so much pressure that built up that the cork like flung off and it flung off with the knife still in it so there's like cork and knife going everywhere and then the wine got all i i want to see if i can find a clip of this if i will i'll try to insert it <laughs> but if not i might not be able to but the wine literally sprayed all over me and then it sprayed all over the ceiling of my apartment and it had like white ceilings and i couldn't get it out i sat there and scrubbed with a magic eraser for days wait okay you guys i found the clip that i was talking about and i was just watching half of it through and i'm dying you guys have to watch this if you haven't seen this video don't go back and watch it this is the most cringe thing ever i can't believe i'm actually leaving this up but it's so freaking funny at the same time <laughs> i don't have a corkscrew can i use a knife would that work what to use in place of a corkscrew it's recommending that i use keys okay well let's just try a knife first so if i do this <laughs> I'm dying that I literally actually Seriously? put this on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I was having like a full mental this. breakdown oh, trying to get this wine open. Three. Pump it out. This one's really simple. You just take a bike pump that has a needle <laughs> attached. Oh my gosh. Kai, do you have a bike pump laying around anywhere? I no? will say though, the editing, editing okay. on this was the like so one. funny. Wrap the bottle with a towel okay. and use the wall to smack it out. Yep, I feel like I would get evicted from my apartment if I did that. Slap it out with a shoe. My favorite. <laughs> okay, guys, update. It's been 10 minutes. We are now on to a video, which I think should prove very informative. Um, and this one is called Soccer Mom Opening a Wine Bottle. Let's watch. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, my gosh. I'm in the world's crankiest hotel. Okay, update. The wall did not work, the metal window still did not work, and the counter did not work. And I feel like at this point I'm going to get a noise complaint if I start banging anymore at... I was trying so hard to get this wine open. So. I was like, at this point I need a drink. Oh no, wait, this is when it happens. Yup, right there. Got the wine open. Um, I was literally no, making pizza too. I was making this exact thing. same so pizza. I'm going to have about five glasses of wine <laughs> process what just happened. Mm -hmm. My entire kitchen is covered in wine. I'm surprised there's any left in the bottle. So I need to go clean that up. Just put my sweatshirt in the wash. Happy quarantine. I'm like crying. That was so funny. Oh, how the times have changed. <laughs> and yet here we are drinking the exact same glass of wine, making the same pizza. But this time I'm not in the middle of a mental breakdown and I actually have a corkscrew opener. Cheers to being out of quarantine <laughs> i think that drove everyone crazy <laughs> okay let's make our pizza we got our crust usually i like to get the thick crust but they didn't have any instead of using normal pizza sauce we use truff sauce and it's so so good it adds like so much more flavor and a good kick to the pizza so this one is their like red version because they have a black and a red and the black's not as spicy and the red is spicier um so we got the more spicy one and then we got this tempeh and it's in a smoky bacon flavor this one's really good we got our cheese i typically like to use the follow your heart cheese because i feel like daya or no this is so delicious i don't know if i've tried the so delicious but this is the so delicious mozzarella shreds then we have our olives we got some basil usually i like to eat like the whole basil leaves but they didn't have any so we just got the little chopped basil we got our onion garlic and then that's everything that's on our pizza so we're gonna go ahead and make it
Okay, we just put all the toppings on the pizza. So the next thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of like olive oil around the edges because this one's just kind of flat. And then once I put the olive oil on there, I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning and it tastes so good. Okay, so how I make the little like oil seasoning thing for the crust is I get a little like dish, add in a tiny bit of oil. You really don't need much at all. And for the seasoning, I'm gonna use this garlic sea salt grinder. It has garlic, sea salt, and Italian seasoning in there. And then I'm gonna add in a little extra garlic powder because we like it garlicky. And then I just use a little like basting brush and put it all over the crust and it turns out so, so good. And it's like the most flavorful, crunchy crust ever. Okay, pizza is ready to go in. I had someone ask me one time if Austin got jealous that I love my dog so much and give him so attention. Um, you guys, he isn't over here snuggling me, okay? He's over here snuggling my dogs. They're like this 24 seven. Harper loves him so much, isn't that right? You love Austin, don't you? Yes. Look at her, she is just knocked out. Oh my gosh. You're just a sweet girl. You didn't even do anything today. All you did was you took my shoes outside in the rain and got them soaked and muddy. Is that what you did? Yes, oh my goodness. That must take a lot of work to get mommy's shoes muddy. She's just trying to have a good time. She's just trying to have a good time, I know. Oh my gosh, look at her, she's so sleepy. I don't think I've been this excited for pizza in a very long time. This is so good. Don't you dare Kaiser Duke. I saw that, you almost ate it. I know, Kai went like right up to your pizza and like put his nose right on it. Mm -hmm. 